Hello and uh, welcome back to Ross Taylor Woodworks. Um, I was just taking apart a print that I found in the uh, Glenburn cleanup and uh, have kind of a shocking surprise. Uh, it was this little print of a uh, train and a train station. I since looked up what this uh, name is here, Ruth Venn. And that is Ruth Venn, Iowa. And the name at the bottom is Dar. I can't make out the first initial, but it's Dar. But I was just taking it apart to redo it and have kind of a shocking surprise. I just took the back off. I thought it was just a plain piece of cardboard. And it's a high school diploma. from 1925 it's from Jessup High School uh, that's just a couple of towns over from where I live uh, here's the name and superintendent and principal president and secretary Take the print out of the frame here. Uh, the print itself is in really good shape. I'll just do a light cleaning on it. And it has this on the back. It's called Lonely Station. There's the Dars. I don't know exactly who Dars is. It says Museum Print Editions. And over here it has a uh, supermarket sticker. That looks like something from 1960s or so, this uh, sticker. So it look this, looks like this might have been framed up in the 60s or something. And here's a piece of broken glass. I've got extra glass, so I can cut up a piece of glass for this. I'll do something with the frame here, I'll clean it up. And maybe repaint it or something. I'm not sure. See how it cleans up. And then uh, just put the print back in the frame and put another back on it. I'm going to do something else with the uh, diploma then. Oh, it almost looks like it had uh, some paper on the back here. Yeah, it did have a paper on the back. There's a little remnants of some paper. It had a paper backing on it. So what it looks like to me is this was purchased at a grocery store. This is a local grocery store. It's still in business. Uh, it was purchased at the grocery store and then uh, somebody had it framed up and they used their own diploma as a backboard. Oh, and I just noticed this. So that confirms it's from the 1960s. I couldn't make out this before when it was in the frame and that says 67. So I'll definitely do something with this then. Once again, here's the print. I did some further looking online and the artist's name is D. Dar. Uh, no information available about D. Dar. And I found some other examples of this print. 